Hi everyone, and uh, this is Jim again. Uh, today's topic is uh, about driving, and then I, it's a five good driving habit to make you become a better driver. Yeah, before we get into the topic, and then I should have a special thanks to my image designer all right because uh i got a complaint about the yesterday's video it was uh street look ugly all right so today i make some adjustment all right so if it looks good then then everybody will stay more and listen to uh, watch this video and then uh, get some um, benefit from it. All right, so I, uh, I, in my whole life, uh, there is the two things I'm good at it. I'm proud of it. Uh, one is the driving. Uh, I've been uh, work on the vehicle since I was 18, and all the way to now, it's been 40 something years i uh, i drive a truck i teach driving i uh, fix a uh, little problem i know vehicle and then i have a knowledge to to drive and um, and drive safely all right so yeah so the, this is the first one uh, the other one is uh the fighting skill and, and uh, more specifically it's uh i teach tai chi since 91 right so uh, it's been more than 30 years yeah this is something i'm good at it uh so today i probably will start with the driving all right so this is five uh good driving habit it's uh from the first day when you uh, teach a student how to drive and uh, make sure they uh, when they, they learn it that they make sure they use it all right to become a better driver all right so the first one is uh, aim high in steering uh, point one aim high in steering so that means you don't look low uh, so as a beginner they always look very close uh, they want to see where the wheel is <laughs> and then uh, they don't look far they look slow very close all right so 100 meters <laughs> they think is oh very far but as a good driver you you need to look um, much further right so you look not only one kilometer in front of you and then maybe sometimes two kilometer or even farther all right so aim high in steering all right so that's a good driving habit all right so if you have to you can adjust the seat a little higher then make sure you don't look low all right the second one is keep your eyes moving all right so <laughs> uh we teach a student we call it that scan don't stare all right so if you stare on something more than one or two seconds that's uh, not a good thing as a good driver so you make sure you keep eyes moving scan something in front of you all right don't stare all right so yeah that will you make you know what's going on uh, uh, the traffic the things happen in front of you or even behind you right because you keep your eyes moving you not only look at something at the front you you check the mirror also all right so keep your eyes moving skiing don't stare all right so the third point is get a big picture all right so yeah as a beginner or some of the drive driver they don't have a good habit they don't 
get a bigger picture. They think it uh, picture is big enough, but uh, sometimes it's not big enough. Enough. You have to make sure um, in what you look at it. It's a big picture, right? So you not only look at something in front of you, you also need to know what the uh, uh, opposite traffic it look like. Uh, if you have a multiple lane, and then you have to, yes, watch something happen in front of you. After uh, bigger picture, you get more information than you know how to drive and then do the adjustment. All right, so this uh, get a big picture, as big as you can. All right, even something uh, in the sky. All right, so <laughs> yeah. All right, number four, make sure they see you. Oh my God, it's so important, all right? Make sure they see you. The first thing that people uh, automatically think, so make sure you uh, put on a signal when you want to turn, all right? You want to make a link change, you need to, yeah. And uh, before 1991, I believe uh, there is a um, headlight, you don't have to turn the headlights on uh, in the daytime. But now, uh, since uh, 1991, all the vehicle, all right, uh, the manufacturer is already um, make it uh, like uh, mandatory, you know, when you drive with the headlights on. So it doesn't matter if it's a low beam, a high beam, all right. So if you drive a very old vehicle, all right, headlights on, all right. So uh, this is a uh, the one, uh, the signal. I right? make sure they see you. And uh, when you are in the intersection, stop at the stop sign, and then you make eye contact. All right. So if you want to yell, you make a very obvious uh, hand uh, signal. You want to yell, or or somebody give you a signal, you want to go, okay, you wave your hand and then give them a signal, okay, I go, thank you, something like that. And then if you are uh, turning signal is off or you make sure your hands outside the window and then you use a hand signal to let people know what you're going to do, right? Left turn, right turn, or you, or you want to stop or you want to make a U-turn, something like that. Yeah, that's very important and uh, make sure you, yeah, you, your, your light's on and uh, in, when it's a foggy, uh, raining and snowing and yeah, condition, yeah, make sure they see you. All right, so it's very important, yeah. Okay, so uh, the last one, it's a point five, it's a leaf yourself and out so what's that mean all right so it's like uh something happened on the road all right uh, especially in china people will go there and curiosity and, and then they go there and then want to have a look all right so yeah when you drive on the highway you see yeah there is an accident on the uh, opposite direction traffic but how come all the people they slow down and have a look <laughs> they don't keep in your mind you leave yourself and out all right when something happened you don't want to get closer uh, you just want to leave that sin as far as so far <laughs> as soon as you can so yeah if you have a this kind of um yeah, uh, good driving habit on your mind. Uh, when you see something happen, you just want to leave as soon as possible. All right. And when when you see there is a stole vehicle in front of you, you make a link change as early as possible. 
if you want to exit highway uh, you want to make a link change as early as possible all right so uh, one or two kilometer earlier or even uh, earlier and then uh, like a two or three kilometer ahead and then you make a link change you keep to the right and then you exit to the highway that's uh, uh, a good driving habit leave yourself and out you don't want to get closer you don't want to involve you don't want to make something more difficult all right so uh yeah there is uh of uh, uh, make sure they see you it's uh there is a one of the good driving habit is uh when you approaching a traffic jam when you drive on highway and then you you drive with very high speed like let's say there's 100 110 kilometer and you see the accident in front of you and then the, very soon you become a traffic jam and you put on the hazard light all right four-way flush then let the traffic behind you know i'm gonna slow down all right this is the one and uh yeah and uh when you have a uh a problem you have to pull over and stop and then you have to put on a signal when you stop you put on the four-way flats uh, especially you you need help yeah make sure they see you and then uh well there's another uh, uh more explanation good driving habit uh which is uh, uh the number four make sure they see you you don't stop on top of the hill all right when, when you want to stop the vehicle you want to pull over and do something all right so because uh the the traffic behind you they could not see the uh, the oncoming traffic uh, on the uh, all right so uh, uh you don't stop your vehicle on on the curve when you yeah when you stop your vehicle on the white straight road and then pull over and stop you don't stop you know the the visibility is low right so yeah that's all about it maybe make sure uh maybe in the future i will make up something like that to get more this kind of educational uh, episode all right thank you